Y yeah. You do? But I thought... I thought... But... Let me not to the marriage of true minds of made impediments. <laughs> love is not love. Which it alters when it alteration finds or bends with the remover to remove. Oh no! It is an ever fixed mark that looks on tempest and is never shaken. It is the star to every wandering bark whose, whose worth's unknown, although his height be taken. Love's not time's fool, though rosy <laughs> lips and cheeks within his bending sickle's compass come. Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks, but bears it out, even to the edge of doom. But if this be error, and upon me proved, I never writ, nor no one ever loved. <laughs> okay, you got it. The way it was introduced. Dear Juliet, why art thou yet so fair? Shall I believe that unsubstantial death is amorous and that the lean abhorred monster keeps thee here in dark to be his paramour? For fear of that, I still shall stay with thee and never from this palace of dim night depart again. Here, here shall I remain with worms that are thy chambermaids. Oh, here shall I set up my everlasting rest and shake the yoke of inauspicious stars from this world wearied flesh. Eyes, look your last. Arms, take your last embrace. And lips, oh, you the doors of breath, Seal with a righteous kiss, a dateless bargain to engrossing death. Come, bitter conduct, come, unsavory guide, thou desperate pilot, now at once run on the dashing rocks, thy seasick, weary bark. Whoa! <laughs> oh, true apothecary, thy drugs are quick. Thus, with a kiss, I die. <laughs> or whether I shall live your epitaph to make, or you survive when I in earth am rotten. From hence your memory death cannot take, although in me each part will be forgotten. Your name, your name, from hence immortal life shall have, though I, once gone to all the world, must die. Though ye earth can yield me but a common grave, when you, entombed in men's eyes, shall lie. I love that pun <laughs> in lie. <laughs> your monument shall be my gentle verse, which eyes not yet created shall o'erread, and tongues to be your being shall rehearse when all the breathers of this world are dead. You still shall live. Such virtue hath my pen, where breath most breathes, especially in the mouths of men. <laughs> <laughs>